And I'm Dan Ball, live on the GOP candidate trail here in Nevada. We'll have a live report with Ron Paul and talk more about all the candidates and how they're vying for your vote just less than 24 hours before the Nevada caucuses. News 3 at 4 starts right now. This is First News 3 at 4 with Marie Martera and Dan Ball. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of News 3 at 4. We are, of course, your home for politics. I'm Marie Mortera. We have team coverage of tomorrow's Nevada caucus with live reporters following the GOP candidates around our valley. My co-anchor, Dan Ball, also on the road following Ron Paul. Dan? Well, right now we're at the Leatherneck Club. That's on Spring Mountain in Arville, Marie. In just about an hour or so, Ron Paul due to show up actually at American Shooters, which is a gun store and shooting range just behind the Leatherneck Club. He's going to do a little meet and greet there and then come here for the rally, talk with Filipino veterans and veterans in general about veterans affairs. So we've got some video from some of his stops that he made up north yesterday. He was in Elko and then Reno at some fundraisers and rallies there. Currently, he's in Pahrump at a rally and fundraiser and then will make his way back here to the valley tonight one last big push for Texas Congressman Ron Paul before our caucuses tomorrow. We have all angles covered for you today. Right now, of course, a lot of folks, the talk is Mitt Romney. He, you recall, won the Nevada caucus in 2008, and they believe he may do as well tomorrow. Ron Paul, possibly a second or third. He's hoping for some double-digit numbers tomorrow. But let's throw it over to Jerry Brown and talk about what Mitt Romney's up to today. Jerry? All right, let's check in with my co-anchor, Dan Ball, one more time. Dan, you're at Arville and Spring Mountain, where presidential candidate at Ron Paul expected for a rally in about an hour. Yeah, about 5.30, uh, he's supposed to show up here at the Leatherneck Club, which is a place for Marines and retired Marines to come and hang out. But the organization that is putting on this rally is called Justice for Filipino American Veterans. And I'm joined by one of the coordinators, Ago Petalizo. And Ago, mm -hmm. describe for people, first of all, what your organization is all about. Well, the organization is the leading organization that's uh, doing the lobbying uh, for the approval of the HR 210. It works with the different communities and it does the lobbying uh, and we're going to have a delegation in the few weeks to come. And Congressman Ron Paul is backing HR 210. Tell people what HR 210 is about. HR 210, it's actually the the bill that that, um, that um, we, we intend to reverse the Recession Act and by doing so we want to have equal benefits, full recognition, for the World War II vets who fought for America side by side with, the, with their American brothers. And you're hoping to hear more of that support from him tonight in about an hour or so, correct? Ex exactly. And he already made the statement that he's fully supporting the bill, making him the 87th co-sponsor for the bill. The 87th sponsor for the bill already? Yes. Okay. Ago, thank you very much. Can't wait to hear what the Congressman has to say about that, being a vet myself. And, of course, Congressman Ron Paul, an ex-Air Force guy like myself. So in about an hour or so, he'll do a meet and greet at the American Shooters and then come here. We will have continuing live coverage coming up at 5 and 6 right here on News 3. We'll see you then. This is News 3 at 5 with Jim Snyder and Jessica Moore. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for having us in. And here we go. The national spotlight is on Nevada with just hours to go until tomorrow's GOP presidential caucus. Three of the four candidates are in southern Nevada vying for your vote. We have team coverage to bring you all of the details from Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, and Ron Paul stops today in southern Nevada. In the next half hour, Ron Paul will be making a stop at a local shooting range. News 3's Dan Ball's out on the road tonight. He's following Paul. And Dan, this is just one of two stops Ron Paul will make in Las Vegas tonight. Two stops here in our valley, and just a couple hours ago, he was in Pahrump. I believe we have some video of that down at a skate park at a rally there talking with folks. Uh, Congressman Paul, I would he considers himself the non-establishment candidate, and so two things he'll be talking about here today when he stops. First, at American Shooters, a gun shop that's on Arville and Spring Mountain, talking to folks here in Nevada about their gun rights. We know, of course, a lot of folks here in the Silver State, very concerned about their gun rights. This state considered pretty independent or libertarian. Gun rights matter to them a lot. After that, Quick meet and greet at American Shooters. He will literally just walk across the parking lot to where I'm standing and come here to the Leatherneck Club. Now, the Leatherneck Club is a nonprofit group of retired and Marine veterans, and they're actually not the sponsors. They're housing Ron Paul to have this rally, but who's actually putting on the rally are the Filipino American Veterans Association. These are guys who have a bill in the House right now. It's H.R. 210. This is to amend Title 38 and get more benefits for Filipino Americans who fought in World War II. So they're actually sponsors. 
sponsoring the rally here for Congressman Paul. We expect him to arrive in about 25 minutes. I've spoken with some of the veterans here, whether they're the Marines or the Filipino Americans putting on the event, saying that, well, they're backing him because he is one of 87 congressmen that is backing their support of H.R. 210, and they believe in more states' rights, which we know Congressman Paul talks a lot about that, and that's what they hope to hear from him in just about 25 minutes. For right now, we're live at Arville Spring Mountain. Dan Ball, News 3. Jim Jess, back to you guys in the studio. All right, Dan, thank you. Rick Santorum is looking